Can you tell us more about your thinking about the noble purpose, please? Yeah, because I think that's, you know, in my vision of business in this new era, it's, it is indeed about pursuing a noble purpose, putting people at the center, embracing all stakeholders in a declaration of interdependence, and treating profit, treating profit as an outcome, not the goal. So what's this noble purpose thing? It's not just a statement you put on your website. For me, you find it at the intersection of four circles. One is what the world needs. Two, what you're passionate about. Three, what you're uniquely capable of doing as an organization. And four, how you can create economic value. And that's how you define it. It needs to be you know, meaningful, authentic, credible, but also inspiring. And the beauty of that approach uh, is that, um, of course, it's inspiring as we discuss. It's also, you know, a way to expand the addressable market. And if you can then align the activities of the company around that, then I think magic happens. But you need to do the work of, you know, making that purpose the cornerstone of the strategy and translating it into specific, very concrete strategic initiatives triaging your activities. We all remember when CVS decided to stop selling, you know, cigarettes. If their purpose was health, stop selling cigarettes right. and uh, focus on how you're going to be helpful to the health of your, of your customers and then do the work to allow everybody to write themselves in that, pur that purpose. So I think that's a, it's, it's a profound change. Uh, it's become almost a fad. So there's a danger here. And that's why I think the key is to do the work to make it, uh, to do a good job of defining it and then making it come to life.